I'm Andrew Bonfield. I'm the CFO of National Grid and the chair of the Hundred Group of Finance Directors. The critical thing for, uh, for us as finance directors is obviously we have a number of different stakeholders we're trying to keep. So obviously you still have the board as a key stakeholder um, and your responsibility to the board is to make sure you are managing particularly around risk uh, and giving people comfort around your compliance uh, agenda, uh, particularly CFOs, that is really, really key. Um, you have your employees, uh, which are key stakeholders, and making sure that you continue to make sure that you give them the right operating environment, uh, the right opportunities to develop and grow. I think that's really, really critical for, for, for me as the CFO. Often I think of myself as being the head of HR for uh, finance as a function, um, because if I don't do that, ultimately at the end of the day, I won't be able to have the, the throughput of talent that I need actually to continue to operate efficiently as I move forward. Um, so it's giving the people the right tools, the right opportunities, the right techniques, that, that's really critical. I think the key for me uh, on dealing with investors and that whether it's equity investors or uh, bond uh, debt, equity, uh, debt holders is around making sure that you are as uh, honest and transparent as you can be. Obviously there are rules around market abuse and regulation that we have to be compliant with. Um, and there are some bits of regulation around that which are uh, often uh, difficult to, and require a lot of work to do. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we do need to make sure um, that we are in compliance with that. But I think there is a key thing here about being uh, as honest as you can be uh, with, with, with your investors. I believe that is the right way to treat investors uh, when you have a problem, to admit that there is a problem. Uh, rather than actually trying to uh, to sort of say that it's not really a problem and, and not dealing with it. So I think about how do you build that transparency and that trust is really important because those are the people who are investing in your company. Uh, customers are important. Um, customers ultimately at the end of the day are actually what drives your business um, and the communities that you, for us, like in National Grid, where we operate in communities uh, rather than actually necessarily with direct customers as well. So that's important for us to make sure that people trust and understand what we're trying to do as a business. And the reality for a business like National Grid is people go and switch the lights on and expect them to work every time. They do, 99.99999% uh, reliability of the transmission system, but that needs a lot of work to make sure that that works and operates effectively. And so making sure that communities understand the need for what we're doing and why we're trying to do it, even though uh, often uh, some of the things we have to do, like building pylons, uh, is not necessarily something that people find uh, particularly, they're particularly attracted to in their community themselves, but they have to understand what we're trying to do and what we're trying to do to manage the balance between their local community needs and the overall cost to, to customers and what we do. So it's about making sure you, you manage those things as best as, as you can. Personally, my view always with and my philosophy has always been about being um, so, saying as it is uh, and not trying to spin. I think uh, if you try and spin things, you, that's when you tend to get into trouble and uh, you, you suffer for it for the long term. So try and be as straight and honest uh, where you have issues and deal with them as quickly as you can.